So welcome to another WordPress theme development tutorial. In this video we're going to be creating the single page which will show a single post on its own uh, as you see right now. Uh, before I start I just want to say uh, I think someone asked me about commenting on this site. There will be commenting, I just haven't put it in the example, I don't know why, but there will be commenting down here which we'll get to in another tutorial. But for now we're going to be creating what you see right here. But don't worry, commenting is coming, I promise. So what we have here is just our heading, the meta, as we saw before, the full post, which right now is just some lorem ipsum, uh, good reader right there, I'd suggest reading it. And on the right here, what we've got is a list of the recent posts. And this is going to be limited to eight posts, but you can modify that however you want. Uh, it, it, just you have to play around and see what works for you. And of course, these show the dates and everything like that. And of course, we can click between these so I could go, hello world. Uh, this is the default one, we can go Nexus 7, so we can flick through them and this all works. So what I've got right now is the file structure for my theme, which I we did in the first video. We want to create a new file in here, and uh, we're going to call this single.php. It has to be called that, you can't call it anything else. WordPress will automatically pick this up and know how to use it. So we press OK, we've got a single.php in there, uh, so now we can uh, right click view slash edit. Uh, we're ready to go, we've got an empty file there. To prove that WordPress just automatically knows what it's doing, we're going to come to the site and click on one of them, and suddenly it's blank. Because what it's, what it's doing is it's referring it's referring to this file here, and not, obviously there's nothing in it. So what we need to do is we need to go into our index, and I'm just going to copy this get header over here, as well as paste the get footer, like that. So then when I save that and refresh, it's going to give us our header and footer on the single page. So here you can see it's viewing the one blog post rather than all of them on the home page. So now we need to actually get our content on here. So what we're going to use here is a panel uh, like before. So we're going to do a div class equals row. So we can divide it up into two sections. And then inside here we're going to have a column uh, with an MD9. And close this off. And then a column with an MD three for the sidebar section and of course close it off. So inside here is where we're going to create our panel and this can just be copied and pasted from here or we can retype it if you want but save time and that is where our content is going to go so if we go to our index page we can actually just copy uh, this code right here so we're going to copy that over into there and it's all structured for us nicely but what we're going to do is we're going to cut this out and put this up at the top because we want it at the top of the post just below the heading and then we're going to change this to the underscore content brackets and then here we're going to put uh, apostrophes just leave them blank but that's fine for there so now if I refresh this uh, refresh uh, there it is there is our uh, post and page and everything being displayed there. Uh, the next thing I want to do is just remove this blank gap at the top. It's really irritating me. It's just a little bug in Bootstrap, I guess. I don't know what. But yeah, we can do a quick fix to get rid of this. So head into your style.css file, and what we want to do here is put dot panel h3 because we used a h3 here, so we're going to be styling the h3. So dot panel h3. And then here we're going to do margin dash top, and I figured it out, it's already 5 pixels. So that is the margin that we need to do. So we're resetting the margin, the margin's too big, so we're going to drop it down to 5 pixels. So now if we refresh this, and it's moved up, and it all looks perfect. While we're in the style.css file, we might as well fix this issue at the bottom, where the footer is overlapping the uh, content. So what I'm going to do is just modify that. So we're going to put, uh, I prefer to put this at the top, body, and then margin, dash, bottom, 80 pixels. That is the uh, amount of space, I've already figured that out as well. Uh, just using sort of trial and error, just figuring out. And then if I refresh this, it's all good. And that'll take place across all of the pages. So on the home page, it'll be the same as well. And it all looks good there. Uh, you may actually want to cut a bit off, I think that might be too much. Uh, maybe to 70 or something. Save that. 
Yep, 70 looks pretty good. You might want to go down to 60, but I'm not gonna bother. Uh, and then in this MD3, so this bit's all done now. If I go onto this page, this side is all done now. Now we're just gonna do the sidebar over here. So that's gonna go in the column MD3. And this is gonna be similar to what we did with the index page um, up here. And also it's down here, very similar. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a PHP tag. And then inside here we're gonna do query underscore posts and then in brackets and then apostrophes we're going to put posts underscore per underscore page equals eight remember i said i was going to set it to eight you can adjust this setting depending on your theme and then we're going to put a semicolon and then we're going to put this while have posts in this string here we're going to copy that and paste it there at the end here we're also going to put an end while like before Inside here what's gonna is what's gonna be echoed out for each post. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually push this in a bit because we need to create a div around this with a class equal to list dash group. Just a bootstrap class to create that list group. It looks quite nice and it works perfectly for what we need. So we're gonna close it off there with a div. So inside here what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an A with a href equal to and then PHP as before the underscore permalink to give us the link to it and then brackets semicolon and then after this what we're going to put is class equal to list dash group dash item this is a bootstrap class to give us those items it's kind of like a list item like an unordered list except this works for links and then we're going to put close it off inside here we're going to put a h4 and close that off. Inside here we're going to put PHP and then the underscore title brackets semicolon and then underneath here we're going to put a paragraph tag and we're going to give it a class equal to list dash group dash item dash text and the H4 also needs a similar tag which is just going to put heading and that will give us our nice heading and uh, scale it down and everything nicely. Inside this group item text we're going to simply put uh, the same as what we put uh, here. Well very similar anyway. So we're going to copy that and paste it there and then save it. We'll keep it the same actually. And then what we want to do is just refresh it and there we go. There it looks really nice. It's properly uh, formatted and these links do in fact work. So you can flick through the eight latest ones Obviously there's only six here because I only have six posts on the site at the moment. But yeah, that's all working. Uh, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe if you found this useful. And I'll see you in the next video.